are some tips on how to get good at gorilla tag. And these are some of the best tips, including routes and other skills that would be very good. So let's get into this. So the first one is branching. So branching is is really easy. I'm using Rock Monkey today so I can <coughs> get a bit of boost when we go to other maps. But as you can see, branching is a really good way to escape people. And if you fall, you pretty much just have to hit and you should hit a branch. It's hard to where it's get really, really, really confusing because you can like, you see how I just like kind of bounced up on here. Oh gosh. So as you can see, it is pretty hard to get the hang of it. <laughs> but once you get the hang of it, you can do this. The next one is jukes and routes. So some of the easiest jukes to learn in forest is where first one the slide juke. There's two ways to do this. The first one is like this. It's just a way to get a bit of a boost. So if you're like, I'm just lava monkey right there, and if you're running, you can go see, hop, and then you can like hop back. So another one that most people do is they like, if you do it right, see how I'm like hitting the slide. That's what not we're supposed to do. see that. Another juke that is called the um, another slide juke that you can do is you chase someone. You run up the slide and go. Yeah, I mean, you run up the slide and go. You hop over their head. Or run up the slide and go. Ugh. Another good juke is up here. If you can run up here, and once the person's behind, you can just go like this. Hop over them. And, like, branch the sun, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool route. Um, next one is routes. So, Routes are a good thing to have whenever you're being chased. Like, so if you have this back wall here, like perhaps you could you know, do a quick Lucio. Hang on, you could do like a quick wall run. Like a quick, quick wall run. Run. Hop, oh, that was horrible. Let me try that one time. Um, you do a quick wall run. Oh, that was horrible. Hop off the wall, jump, hit this. And then like, this is one of the jukes I use all the time. One of the routes I use all the time. <laughs> of course you can't do that without speed boost. But routes are good. Another one is like a gazebo route where you can like, go to gazebo and go like, Go to gazebo and go. So now let's go to um, some skills. So the first one is the quick up into a tree. So all you, all you gotta do is put your hand on here and just just scale it like this. Especially if you're in the middle, you can really fastly scale this. And then you could hop up here, hop up here. Also, there's a weird red glow. It's actually pretty cool. You hear that you can use to your advantage. I don't know why you can use that to your advantage, actually. Next one is um, double walls. Um, you can get really good at double walls. You can um, figure them out. There's um, pinch climbing. <coughs> Up the side, like this. See how fast I just went? You can go even faster than that if you space out your jumps and you like get launched to the top. There's elevator climbing, which I'm not that good at, but let's try it. Just gotta put your end here and then with this arm, just you know, climb on the wall. I'm not that good at going very fast, but as you see, I can still make it. Next one is like long jumps. So I'm like jumping from branch to branch. Just more of a branching skill. Another one is getting strategic at getting to the top of stump. 
So there's a couple different ways. There's scaling stump. Just like this. Ah, dang. Yeah, if you're good at scaling things, um, yeah, that's a good, easy way to get to the top of stumpies. There's also this way. Hop off the back. And if you're good at, like, the sewing, it'll be in wall jumping. It's gonna be a good way to do it oh that was <laughs> there's a nice thing juke another one is like the standard way so if you're running you can go quick and hop up here and then you know this one we've all seen it we've all seen it a million times another way to escape someone easily is to do a um on this wall here, a small pot where you can actually pinch climb up this wall and then like use these hopping and like use these branches to go back to that spot. So let me try it. Another way, this is actually a really easy way to get really high up. I'm pretty sure you can make it all the way up to like halfway to slippery walls. Let me try it. See yeah, how my jumps get kind of spaced apart? Just, and then, eventually, the game realizes you're, you're jumping, you're climbing way too high. And they just basically eject your arms. See that? They just, like, kick off your arms. So you can make it to about, I'm pretty sure you can make it to about, I'm pretty sure you can make it about that high. So about two, two meters on top of this tree. See how it just kicks me off. So yeah, guys, that another one is like the siren where you just hop on top of here. Um, I'm gonna do one more real quick for in this video. Um, upside down climbing. Well, not upside down climbing, but like it's a quick way if you're running from someone up here, and if they don't know how to do this, you can be like this. Oh, I completely missed that. Well, it's like kind of how you do hospital flips, and how you kind of do um elevator climbing on double walls but like normal walls i mean normal as you can see if you why do i suck at this thing Ooh, nice <laughs> whatever so it's i don't know why i'm trying to do it on bridge it's easiest on here like on the flat walls like if you hop up here and then like the like see And then if, if other people don't know how to do it, then you can just stand here until eventually you can just fall. So that's all I'm going to show today. So thank you guys for watching and goodbye. Yeah.